What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy Ray here with another one. Ren, Money Game Part 2. About time I was having technical difficulties for the past day and a half. I was locked out of my account. I figured it out. So I'm here now. I know it's late. I'm sorry. Supposed to do it yesterday. Money Game Part 2, Part 1 was fire. Shout out to all the new subscribers and shout out to everybody to show love in the comments. And I'm reading it all, baby. I'm reading it all. You guys are freaking awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Now, enough of the jibber jabber. Enough of the jibber jabber. Federico! He didn't cut the beat. He's in the bathroom. Hold on. Federico! <laughs> Ren, Money Game Part 2, my brother, it is on you. Strange time of living in panic and hysteria. Poor man, learn the rich man don't care for your narcissist mindset spread like malaria. Sit back and watch the Narcissist mindset is that like a malaria? We 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 have all all are known to be narcissistic from time to time. Let's keep it a hundred. The rich man don't care for your narcissist mindset spread like malaria. Sit back and watch the show. America, Britain split through fickle shit. A government of hypocrites. These counterfeit politicians sit in parliament. Not adequate. Come on. Needlessly bleeding resources all dry. Turn a blind eye if it means a pay rise. Oh, what a shame it would be. I would die. That's, oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. Listen to what I'm telling you right now. This is what I've been saying for the longest time already. It's all a business, man. It's all a business. In order for you to be in that type of... I don't care. Shut me down. What you gonna do? Knock on my door? Knock on my door? I ain't open it because I work, brother. I work. Th these people have no regard and no heart and no soul to make decisions the way they make the decisions if it means they're going to make their pockets bigger they'll take down a whole nursery if that if, if that's the outcome that they're going to start making bread in their pockets it's all a business man it's all that's all that it is it's just fucking chestnut checkers Make certain moves to make your pockets bigger. These people don't care about us. We're pawns into a little, little game. That's what I've been, I said in the last video. We're little pawns. They move us around. They go over here, and then they move us there. We follow every little move that they make. We're, we're the puppets. They're the puppet fucking tears. And as long as it's somebody that needs to be making money, it's always going to keep on keeping on. It's always going to be the same exact thing and, and, and we feel like there's nothing that we can do about it. And, and it sucks and it's not fair, especially for the majority of us that we, we work our nine to five jobs, we, we pay our bills, we stay clean, we do everything right, <clears throat> take care of our kids, and, and, and repeat the cycle over and over again. Do you want your great-great-grandkids to... to to be living in that type of world? I don't. Then, then what, what really is the meaning of life? If everyone that's in power is, is controlling our futures, is controlling our capabilities of what we could do as humans, they're leaving us locked inside of a box and we don't know how the key even looks to get it. But yet the new phone's gonna come out next year, and then the new this is gonna come out, because the new console's gonna come out, and then the new computer's gonna come out, and then the new car's gonna come out, and we're gonna be like sheep and go ahead and get it all. And keep on feeding the greedy demon.
I buy what 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 what's necessary for me to buy. If my phone is working, I don't care. I I got a note. I don't care if the Note 80 comes out. Why do I need to get it if my work is if my phone's working perfectly fine? I can upgrade whenever I want. I don't. For what? It's working fine. It's not giving me no issues. I'm good. I don't. I don't. Me and my family be just like that. We don't follow. Well, I don't follow trends. I still dress the same way that I dressed when I was back in in in, in the early nineties, two thousand. Because I see these people going down these roads and I see these people getting into debt and getting into this because they want to get the newest shit and they can't afford it, but they need to get it because if not, people are going to say shit. That, that to me is corny. Make your own lane, walk your own lane. You don't got to be following everybody else's shit. That's how you stop them. That's how you stop them. Stop following the goddamn trends. You're feeding into everything. You don't think the government has their hands in every single little fucking thing that we spend money on? Then you're crazy. That's how you stop them. Stop following trends. Be yourself. Stop bullying others because they don't they they don't have the new shit. Come on, that's corny, man. Thirty eight seconds, and this is what you do, Ren. It's your fault. That's a fact. If number ten Downing Street burned in the fire, only joke. If what? Hold on. Let's, it would be I would die if number 10 Downing Street burned in the fire only joking only messing don't be stressing I'm a peaceful adolescent there's no need to be unpleasant write my thesis in a rhyme scheme to analyze the brain while my fingers on the trigger of a money game oh rain 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 the storm it comes up way and I'm no surprise to distort the lies but a lot of people talk about the government in a rap but he does it different man it's a different vibe when he does it. Oh my god. Yo, I think yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Ren 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 is one of those, man. Ren is one of those. This boy is it's just it's just the the the, the art artistry of the way he just delivers everything that he does. It's a it's a different type of feeling because it's more it's more realistic. Like it's it's more the believability, the pain in his voice that you hear when he starts singing what he sings or when he raps or when, when he does what he does. And then not only that, but the visuals. The visuals going with what he's rapping about. The whole production every time you see this man, bro. But he's willing to put up the money and put up everything that he needs to put up in order to get his message loud and clear to us. That's called taking control of your life and taking control of your art. He's free. He's free. Go ahead, Ren. Talk to these people, bro. Boom, it comes up way. And I'm no surprise to distort the lies. Poison in the face. But we die to put the blame, 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 blame. It's easy to blame. We point the mirror at ourselves. We're all part of this so money game. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. Look what he said. We're all part of this money game, man. We're the rats trying to get to the goddamn cheese, bro. Stop blaming everybody else for your shit. You're doing the same goddamn fucking thing, bro. You're doing the same thing. You're trying to get to that that position. We all play a part of this money game, man. That's why I said, can you imagine what this world would be like if it was like a favor for a favor? No money involved. Money doesn't exist anymore. People will still do their day-to-day -day jobs because, you know, they have to do their day-to-day -day jobs in order for us to get the stuff that we need, like farmers and electricians and mechanics and stuff like that, the stuff that we, we need in order to make things happen. But like back in the day, a favor for a favor. Hey, my car doesn't want to start. The alternator. You need an alternator. Well, how much? Is, how much is it going to cost me to go ahead and fix that alternator? You know how to paint? Go paint my house. I'll do the alternator while you go paint my house. 
That's it. You just got your house painted and you just got your car worked on, man. You ain't got to worry about no parts. If you in, a, in, a, in a, an establishment, and you're buying food, and you know, you, 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 you're you selling food like a McDonald's or Applebee's or something like that. Works the same way. Well, what can I, what can you, uh, you guys want today to eat, sir and ma'am? I want spaghetti and meatball Alfredo. Do you know how to fix a sink? Go fix a sink while I cook your food up and I'll, I'll give it to you. It, then it's just a cycle of just helping each other. Fuck this money shit, man. But unfortunately, that's where we're at. You don't have the money. If you don't have the money, you it's going to be a very difficult, difficult time for you to survive. So it's not like that we want to do it. We have to do it. They made it to a point where we have no choice but to be little sheep and keep on working our nine to fives over and over again in order to survive. But stop saying I can't succeed and I can't do what I want because of them. It's been proven that you could do it without them. Yeah, you got to pay your taxes. Yeah, you got to do you know certain things like renew your license and do and do you. Yeah, you got to follow the, still the same, but it's in your time. You're making your money. Give them the little cheese and they, the, so they can leave you alone. It's like keeping them at bay. But you're controlling everything else that's going on around you. It, it, it's, it's tough, man, but you got to work through it. If we all could be just dependent on ourselves, watch what happens. Point the mirror bright ourselves. We're all part of this whole money game. I like how he does little clips uh, like that. Mm -hmm. And like the little clip from the Money Game Part 1, he just did it right now. Part of this whole money uh, game. Mm -hmm. That's dope. I like that. Mm -hmm. This old money uh, game. a game and the ladder we climb turns a saint into a sinner with his finger in crime i'll break uh, it down for you motherfuckers line by line this right. is business economics in the nursery rhyme uh, she sell oh. he's about to talk to ya who's selling she shells okay hold on for you motherfuckers line by line this is business economics in the nursery rhyme uh, she sells seashells on a seashore but the value of these shells will fall uh, due to the laws of supply and demand no one wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sands that no <laughs> you using a sea cell she sells seashells by the seashore nursery rhyme in order to explain the economic oh, oh how can you sell seashells when you can find them in the sand there is no need for it so you're not gonna make money show you man business 101 that if oh god if shells are not in demand you're not gonna make no money for it oh, oh that's just dope Let's due go. to the laws of supply and demand no one wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sand step right. one must create a sense of scarcity shells will sell much better if the people think they're rare you see bear with me take as many shells as you can find and hide them on an island stockpile them high until they're rarer than the diamond step oh my god get them Tell me that didn't make no sense to nobody. Take what you're trying to sell. I'm trying to sell this puffer, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy out everybody. Well, I'm not buy out. I'm going to steal. I'm going to, I'm going to then do my way to get as much of this shit as possible until it's not easily access to anybody and put it away, right? And then when people can be like, damn, man, what? I, I, need, a, I need a puffer. I, who, they don't sell puffers no more. And when the star is, starts buzzing around, people are like, yo, where's the puffers? And you see seeing statues of puffers. Like, why did you go? And you see the people are losing their fucking minds, right? Then you put it out for sale. You market it out and say, I got the puffers now. And watch how much fucking money you make. This man is showing you the business right now, people. Who has a pen and a paper? Write this shit down, man, because he's giving you knowledge, people. Take as many shells as you can find and hide them on an island. Stop, pile them high until they're rarer than the diamond. Oh, my. 
and the, the, the alliteration that this man is doing and the syllabatic acrobatics is fire. Let me see if I can do it. Bear with me and take his as my, many shows as you can find and hide him in the island stock and pile him and hide until the rapper is diamond. That shit is fire! Let's do it one more time. Bear with me, take as many shells as you can find and hide them on an island stock, pile them high until they're rarer than the diamond step two. Gotta make the people think that they want them, really want them, really fucking want them. Hit them like Bronson, influencers, product placement, featured primetime entertainment. If you haven't, that's how they do it! That's how they do it! You start, have you noticed? That when something hot's coming out, you see that shit everywhere. You see posters, you see billboards, you see commercials, you see ads pop up, you see emails, you see it everywhere. And what's that gonna tell? I need to get, man, obviously it's popping, man. They, they promoting the fuck out there. I need to get me one, and that's how they get you. That's exactly how you get to promote the fuck out of it. Go ahead, son! Really fucking want Hit on Mike Bronson. Influencers, product placement, featured primetime entertainment. If you haven't got a show, then you're just a fucking waste, man. Free. If you haven't got a show, then you're just a fucking waste. So he's selling, he's trying to make money off of selling shells. That's a good item to pick because it's free in the sand. It's a lot of work you gotta do. But you gotta get all the shells. People gonna want them. The Irish people make the little lamps and the little uh, mirrors and stuff with shells on them in there. Where do they get the shells from the beach? If you have all the shells, who's going to want them? The people that are trying to make those freaking items, all right? Supply and demand, baby. Let's go. Talk to these dudes. This is product placement, featured primetime entertainment. If you haven't got a show, then you're just a fucking waste, man. Free. It's Monopoly. Invest inside some property. Start a corporation, make a logo, do it properly. Shells right. must sell, that will be a new philosophy. Swallow all your morals, they're a poor man's quality. For expand, expand, expand. Clear forest, make land, fresh blood on hand. Destroy our earth. Expand. One of these days, you're going to be inside of a cave, and you're going to light your match up to walk inside a cave. You're going to see a fucking Starbucks in the corner of that bitch. These people are going to be putting, I'm telling you, they destroying our earth because they want to expand to make more money. And we're the sheeps that are working to destroy our beautiful fucking earth to make more fucking buildings and more crap and more pollution and more crap just to start selling to our sheep. We know the issue. We know the issue, but we just, something inside of us follows along. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I, I'm right along with you. I'm in that same, I'm pointing the finger straight at me. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes there's certain things that I'm just like, I gotta have it. I have to. But when I tell you that this man is... <sighs> Clear forest, make land fresh blood on hands. Quality for expand, expand, expand. Clear forest, make land fresh blood on hands. Five. Why just shells? Why limit yourself? She sells seashells, sell oil as well. Six on sell stock, sell. Expand your, expand your company. And once you've really known that you want to get in bed with somebody else to expand it even more and start getting into different type of freaking stuff to make your pockets fatter. It's business, yes. It's definitely business, but why? If you're already living comfortably, why do you need to go do that? And look what's coming up. Guns, sell stocks, sell diamonds, sell rocks. So now you just started with shells. Now you expanding and you selling everything. You just became a Walmart, brother. You just became a Walmart. Go ahead. I limit yourself. She sells seashells. Sell oil as well. Six on sell stock. Sell diamonds. Sell rock. Sell water to a fish. Sell the time to a clock. Seven. Press on the gas. Take your foot off the brakes. Then run to be the president of the United States. Eight. Big smile. Make big wave. That's great. Now the truth is overrated. Tell lies out the gate. Nine. Mm, the truth is overrated. Tell lies at the gate. He's getting serious with these people now. You see the progression? You started a big... Oh, is he talking about Trump? Who's he talking about? He's talking about Trump in this one? Because Trump, that's pretty much... He did Trump Towers. He did all that shit. He hotels and all that. And then he became... And then... Oh. Is he talking about Trump? I don't know who he's talking about, but if he is, that's fuck. That's fire. 
Oh my god. Go back a bit, sir. Let's go back to seven. Sell six on, sell stock, sell diamonds, sell rock, sell water to a fish, sell the time to a clock, seven. <laughs> Press on the gas, take your foot off the brakes. Then run to be the president of the United States. A big smile, mate. Big wave, that's great. Now the truth is overrated. Tell lies out the gate. Nine polarize the people. Controversy is the game. It don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name. Stop making these people relevant. Stop making, he's talking like Make America Great Again. I knew it. Stop making people relevant. The more you got their names in their mouth, whether it's negative or positive, you got their name in your mouth. How do you stop a bully? I'm going to ask that question. Uh, uh, answer down below. How do you stop a bully? By ignoring him. Ignore him. Let him talk all the shit that he's going to talk. Eventually, you know what he's going to do? This ain't fun. I'm working too hard and he's not giving me what I want. So I'm going to move on to the next. Imagine if a, a bunch of, a trillion fucking people stop and just ignore it. And live their life. What do you think is going to happen? Stop making these people of power relevant. I'm polarize the people, controversy is the game It don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name Ten The world is yours Step out on the stage to a round of applause You're a liar, cheat, a devil, a whore And you sell seashells on the seashore Brain, brain, brain And then you sell seashells to... Oh, God Can you imagine you go to the beach and there's a guy in a stand selling shells on the sand next to the water it's it's getting to that point they're gonna sell us stuff that we, we that we could get for free for example water i bought this i got a faucet it works But it's just a habit. It's just that's just what it is. It's a freaking habit. A devil, a whore, a new. Have you noticed that 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 a couple of years ago, saw one person, one celebrity, one famous person went out there and started really pushing, eating healthy and going out to the gym and working out. And have you noticed that every fucking body is doing it too? That's where you. That's where you get the positive part of it. You see how positive that is. One celebrity said, "You know what? I'm gonna." Go out and I'm going to show people, you know, health it, 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 it's good for you. You know, eat healthy. No, don't go crazy and become vegan. But, you know, do all that. And, 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 and push yourself to be healthier, to live longer for your kids and everything. That's a good thing. That's one of the good things that we got that was a trend that everybody wanted to work out at one point. So it's possible that we have enough common sense that we know the positives from the negative. But then we have those people that just follow trends just to, fo just to follow them for no reason. But we have more negative trends that we follow out here than we have positive. We have a whole lot more negative shit. But what are we going to do about it? We ain't going to do nothing if we just keep on following it. Rand... <sighs> I need Ren to come to my podcast. I have a podcast every Monday night. Me and my and my guy uh, Shakes Pete. Shout out to Shakes. We have a we have a podcast every Monday night. I'm I'm live on a podcast on the Shaky Vibe Podcast channel. I want to talk and sit down and talk to Ren about these type of situations and stuff. Ren, hit me up, brother. I got you. Sell seashells on the seashore. Rain, 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 rain. A storm it comes our way And no surprise to distorted lies Poison in the face But we die upon the blame, 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 blame mm. It's easier to blame We point the mirror right ourselves We're all part of this whole money game
absolutely speechless, man. I'm absolutely speechless. This, this right here is the type of conversations that I believe that should be had as long as it's like a positive conversation. Like, it's like an open-minded situation where the both per people that are talking about this or whoever, or the group of people that are talking about it, we all have to be open-minded and, and we all have to understand where the other one's coming from. I don't like getting into politics like that. I don't like getting into religion like that. I, because for some reason, it, it always starts a issue. It always starts a drama and it always starts negativity. And I don't want that. But when a person is doing what they do with their art like this and do how they do it, visually, lyrically, everything. It has to be heard. It has to be, it has to be in the forefront of this is how a lot of us feel. This is an issue and we need to address it and we need to fix it. Guys, put the next rant down below, man. I got you guys ASAP. I love all of you guys. I am I am loving this Ren rabbit hole that I just I found myself in. And this gonna be this is gonna be a very heavy Ren reaction channel. Huh? I love you guys. If you're new, thank you for stopping by. Don't, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. It ain't gonna hurt you. It don't bite. And I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I love all of you. Thank you so much for everything. Peace.